So the first element that we come to on this module is the element of Earth. So the element of Earth comes first in energy alchemy as it is our most important foundation, building block if you will, to traverse and connect all the other elements. So first I want us to do an Earth prayer. This is going to get you into the flow state so that you can really delve into your feeling body as well as your thinking body during this process. So this is a prayer that you can use any time that you're feeling a lack of stability or strength or solidity on the earthly plane, within your body, within an environment, here's the prayer. Fill me with gratitude for all that you give, Goddess Gaia. May I receive your strength, stability and solidity. So in order to become accustomed to the element of earth we can start by becoming aware of the earth chakra that is located several inches below your feet. The earth chakra acts as a stable in access for the physical body. So we'll just do a quick earth chakra breathing exercise just so that throughout this program you can use it anytime you want to become grounded. So what I want you to do now is picture a brilliant golden light rising up from the earth, your earth chakra, into your feet. So as you breathe in through your nose, feel this energy, this golden energy filling the tips of your toes and your feet and rising up into your legs, into your knees, into your thighs coming into your torso and as you breathe out just imagine this beautiful golden light shining out of your heart center okay this golden light is getting bigger and bigger each time you breathe in and this golden energy is filling your your heart center and your aura with beautiful energy Next we come to the four corners. These are really important because they've been used in ancient times all the way up to present times as a sacred ritual. So the four directions correlate with the body, mind, soul and spirit. The teachings of the four directions come from Druidism and Shamanism among many other teachings. And they connect us to the teaching that every single one of us is a healer, teacher, warrior, or visionary. In native and Druidic traditions, during prayer, ritual offerings, it was important to honour the four corners of the world, north, east, south, and west. Most of our Western society tries to solve problems using only two levels of perception, the physical and the mental. When we integrate all aspects, the spiritual, emotional, intellectual and physical, we increase our understanding of the many aspects that make us human as well as divine. So I actually have a video on my YouTube channel, Miss Synchronicity, about this if you're interested to learn more about the Four Corners. May there be peace in the North. when you say these words, visualize and feel peace emanating from your heart, surrounding your whole body, emanating outwards from your body and beginning to fill up the whole entire space in front of you towards the north. And as you continue to breathe, now this is such an important part especially if you're struggling with an ailment, an autoimmune disease such as anxiety or depression or any of these type of things. 
So by choosing to eat organic food as often as possible, you are engaging in a creative process in conjunction with Earth's forces. And this is what helps your microbiome. When you get back to eating organically, you get back to actually putting the right bacteria, the right information into your gut as you eat. And it has so many health benefits related to it. To this, having a healthy gut microbiome is important and probably 80% of the world's population has a low gut microbiome health. Do some research on nutritional advice pertaining to any ailments you may be facing. You'll be surprised at how much information you can find. I want to talk about anger and rage because it's linked with the earth element. Before you do anything else, when you feel angry, remember, take 20 seconds to breathe first and foremost. Always, the breath is our first tool. And then channel this energy through exercise by getting back to Mother Earth to do. So even if you're not a fitness person at all, uh, you can definitely do this one. So the third thing I want you to do when you are struggling with anger or rage is to say a prayer. It can be an inward offering, it can be a, a prayer to spirit, it can be a prayer to nature, whatever you like, whatever you feel comfortable with, you can use this prayer. Dear God, I hand this raging anger over to you. Open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. You know what's needed and I am open to receive. So a few more things I want to leave you with before we end this earth element section is getting in touch with more ways that we can give and receive the love of mother earth. One great way would be to join or donate to causes that help the earth. Um, another great thing to think about when it comes to recycling is how to reduce your plastic intake. One of the ways that I've found to do this is to buy more cotton bags in which I can store any of my fruit and veg and just buy it in bulk instead of always buying plastic packaged goods. So if you can do your part to know that you're doing as much as you can to help, recycling is a great place to start. Oh great spirit. May peace and protection prevail within our earthly kingdoms of our individual bodies and our collective bodies. Amen. Module 2. So, next in the way of energy alchemy, we'll look at the subtle element of air. Air is often linked to the intellect or the mind, but first let us consider where our air really comes from. Trees, 